Okay, this is the July 24th, 2017 meeting of the Board of Selectmen here in Conway. July 24th already. Oh, it was gone. Wow. Okay. Must be a busy summer. All right, first item on the agenda is the minutes for the June 26th meeting. Um, Okay, I was absent from that meeting. So is that everybody? I'll make a motion uh, that we approve the meeting. Aye. Minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, very good. And next thing on the agenda is the um, select board minutes for the July 10th meeting. Um, Bob, have you? Uh, yes, look good to me. Sure. Okay, Fine. I'll make a motion that we approve those minutes. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Next item on the agenda, we have warrants. The first warrant is a student activity warrant for $9,446. A vendor warrant for $129,956. A payroll warrant for $87,985. And a payroll deduction warrant of $22,499. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members since our last meeting. I was on vacation last week. Oh, so. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. It's been quiet all around. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's good. No attendance. Okay. Any citizens' concerns? I don't see any citizens here. So I do have, a, have one citizens' concern. You do? They mentioned to me, and I think uh, I'm glad Ron's here because Ron can probably address this. A couple of citizens approached me this past week concerned about the tree growing out of the chimney at the town hall, on the top of the chimney. It's a sumac tree, up about three and a half feet tall, growing up out of the middle of the chimney. Mm -hmm. I just wondered if somebody could get up there and get it out of there somehow. We have a tree. Dreams if we had a cherry picker. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, so it won't be for a few more months, but we will be getting it out of there. It's about three and a half feet down. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's quite visible driving by. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're, that's well in hand and, and you know about that? Okay. That's fine. Anything else? Well, okay. okay. Good. Old business. First item on old business is requests from the highway department regarding the fire pumper. That All right. Be Before we ask Ron to mm -hmm. give us an opinion on that, Bob, um, do you think it's better to sell the fire pumper or to have the highway department? Well, I was seeing it was, I was a department head that got it traded. I felt that I would lose myself from the vote. Uh, I'm just asking for your expert opinion. Is it I, worth more to the town for the highway department or is it worth more well, to the We don't know what it's worth if you try to sell it because it's an open bid process and you may get $100 for it, you may get $5,000, you may get so, so it's $200, worth, so who knows? It's, it's worth more more to the highway department. It, well, the town already owns it. That's the biggest right. thing there. Right. So. Okay. Okay. Good. Ron? Well, I gave Tom a letter listing all my I don't know if you've had uh, Bob read it yep. a couple weeks yep. ago. A couple weeks ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got it. Yes. Listing all it. my things yep. that I feel that the highway department would benefit from it. Um, so you think you're going to utilize it to flush the culvert pipes, washing and maintaining undersized, undersized bridges, water supply for grading roadways, water supply for contractors? Yep. Okay. There's quite a few things, and I'm sure once we have it, we'll find more things to well, use it for. Yeah. Plus, maybe helping them the emergency out, you know, when there's an emergency. I don't know how that would fit in. Uh, I don't know how that fit in, because we can use the tight handed at the time. You know? Yeah, no, I understand, but if one of your trucks is out of service or something yeah. like that, that's a possibility. Okay. But, yeah. So. You would have the truck, but you could possibly use the truck. We have the infantry car in there. Okay. Um, right. We aren't completely done with it yet. Right. We haven't got everything quite off at all. Right? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're working on it. But. All right, so it sounds like it's worth more to us than it would be for us to sell. So I'll make a motion that we um, approve uh, 
what are we transferring the fire pumper to the highway department? Is that the way we put that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I have a second? I'd second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. And Bob's an abstention because of his position as fire chief. All right. Next item on the agenda is um, the garage committee formation. Well, I still know, have no word from uh, Tom McCarthy on that. Um, but uh, Ken Lamet is willing to serve as chair, or willing to be on it, I'll put it that way. Okay. Um, and we know uh, um, Heidi's also interested. Did he in, talk to her? Uh, no, I actually haven't. I, I no, assumed I, that if I it came told, from... No, I told you that you could I'll call and talk to her. Oh, all right, all right. I will, I'll, I'll call. Um, yeah, she, it, it's She still, may not be interested, but she teaches... She gave a little, to me, a little indication that she might be interested in something like that. Oh, okay. She, she, Do we have any more great. committed members? Uh, one, um, Liv Wyatt, formerly Tom Hill, is interested. And, uh, of course, I sat in on the committee last time. Ron sat in on the committee last time as well, too. I think it might be worth um, asking a, around a little bit more uh, see if there's somebody, especially somebody in, the, in another person in the construction trade or somebody who would add some balance, another, uh, somebody who's done municipal work in this, mm -hmm. if we could find anybody like that. You know, somebody like Tom Shaw. Right. But right. Um, uh, not that there's anybody like <laughs> yeah. who, who did the level job he did. But, uh, yeah. there, there, there might be somebody, so I'd, I'd keep that open. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I'll try to get a, a, a firm list to start off with for next time anyway. Okay, good. Yeah, let's let's ask around, see if we get it. We should have, what, five people on the committee? Uh, that would be, that would be good. Okay. All right, thanks, Tom. Uh, next item is the United Congregational Church. Repayment of community preservation funds. Where, where are we on? Where are we at on that? I had uh, sort of expected to have had a formal offer uh, by this point, but we have not had a had a formal offer uh, for for repayment. Have you been in touch with Jack on that? Um, no, he's he's going to get back to me as soon as he and the the church's lawyer have uh, finalized Did you something. You see the back of the paper last week? Oh yeah. Did the, did the church people go to? Pay back to town? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, that's not that was wrong. I don't want to play that paper. You know, uh, papers have to be drawn up or uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. They have to figure out how they're going to get that extra fifty thousand uh, dollars, that sort of thing. So they're I think they're moving ahead with their insurance part of it. I don't think they have the money at this point. Uh, they have that that first, first uh, bit of money. But I don't think they have it yet, so that's part of the reason that uh, I don't think it's moving anywhere yet. Um, and that first check isn't cashed yet. It's I don't believe so. Um, but in any case, uh, we'll, we'll we'll have a final agreement. Best probably to do everything at once mm -hmm. and just have it be very uh, clear. I mean, one of their fund sources said in the paper that they might be. They might be interested in looking at selling your personal Atlantic up there on the main corner of the acreage you own up there. Yes. Um, there are, I know that's an internal discussion mm -hmm. in the church, and uh, um, that was also covered in the article, <laughs> as I recall. Yep. And there were some strong yes. opinions about that. But let's, um, let's call Jack and, and see if he can move this along. How about the future of the church? What are we What are we seeing? Um, well, I heard a suggestion that I thought I would let you know and think about. Um, the idea being that it is a historic building in Conway. It had been used for the community in the past, and perhaps the community would like to consider taking on its. Um, repair and renovation for the future. Um, my initial response to that was that that would be 
a lot of money. Um, if you weigh that against, say, renovating town hall, um, it begins to look a little bit more doable. But uh, you know, we're—I don't think we're—I would not say we're in a position at this point to say, "Oh yeah, that's a great idea." You know, let's look into it. We. I don't, I'm not sure that they have a figure yet. The church has a figure about what it would cost to actually repair it because I think they actually have to go into the walls and do, dollars, right? do more. Um, at, I've heard that number, but I haven't heard that that is something that the engineer has talked about. I think um, they haven't even come up with a, with a final figure yet because they would have to go into the walls and do more investigation to find out how much damage there actually is. Right. Anyway, it, it, it's a, a matter of you know enough historic significant import that I thought I would mention it and you know. I guess my concern here would be is they wanted to get out of the town having attachments to the property by paying off the $100,000 and then they would want to turn around and go right back into it again. No, the idea would be to sell it to the to, for oh, the, the town, town to take over, over. Oh, to, sure. to, to, to to take it over, and because they're talking about building a smaller facility, and who knows where they would do that. Um, yeah, we're 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 not ready to even talk about that at this point. No, I didn't. I didn't think so. But but the idea did come up, and I and I thought, you know, well now, well there's an idea that's out there, and maybe somebody thinks they want to take it on as a project. I heard that was happening. It's a much loved building, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So so what we're dealing with now is the repayment of community preservation funds. Period. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yes. Next item on the agenda is a new letter of support for Ashfield regarding the Mass Works grant for the Ashfield Lake Dam. This is just a, uh, a continuation of a project we already supported. Yes, uh, we signed a very similar letter a year ago. They did not get the grant. They're resubmitting the grant. They've asked us to resubmit a letter of support okay. for saving the Ashfield, renovating the Ashfield Dam so that Conway wouldn't get flooded if the uh, dam broke. Right. Yeah. So it, it makes makes sense for us to, to sure. support this as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By all means. All right. All right. I'll make a motion that we uh, send this letter to Jay Ash, the Secretary of uh, Housing and Economic Development, in support of the Ashfield. A 2017 MassWorks infrastructure grant application. I have a second? A second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Save the lake house. Save Comedy Center. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> yeah, Kay, Casey will come in. Yeah. Okay. All right, next item on the agenda is to appoint Robert Baker as the emergency response coordinator. Yes, we not only have an emergency management director, mm -hmm. there is an emergency response coordinator. Both positions are supposed to be filled. And uh, this is uh, something that actually got uh, stimulated by some uh, Franklin Regional Council of Government's paperwork. Mm -hmm. So I thought uh, it would be best to uh, do that officially. I thought Bob was already in that position. Well, it's an appointed position, and okay, we should so renew it. Just have to formalize it. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion that we appoint Robert Baker as the emergency response coordinator. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And one, um, one abstention. One abstention. You, you can vote for yourself. It's just like an election. If you didn't right. go into the ballot box and vote for yourself, you would be down to vote. <laughs> I heard the train whistle. All right, while we're waiting for Peter, um, can you do your yeah. town uh, land update, Tom? Yeah, there, there's, and this doesn't even include the, uh, this doesn't even include the uh, buying the church. <laughs> but there, there are enough land uh, things out there now that I thought I'd, uh, I would, uh, write them down so that we had uh, all similar facts together in one place. Um, first is the uh, Greg Rose property at 44 Near Road. 
I have the, the values here and a proposed use and a, and a short discussion of the town. So I would appreciate your kind of uh, looking this over, helping me to get the pros and cons of, of, of all of these properties here. Um, why do we want to discuss this in open session? Well, we wouldn't necessarily now. I'm just saying that, you know, this is something that has come up. Okay. Um, we've also gotten an offer for uh, several other properties, one of which is the uh, building that now houses the Conway Post Office. Um, and uh, there are a couple of residential properties as well. I don't see any value to the town buying those. Um, but owning the building that the post office is in would, uh, first it would give the town some non-tax revenue um, if, it, if the town leased it. Uh, it would involve extra maintenance, um, but uh, in case the post office ever moved out, it would also mean extra uh, extra town space. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I would say that's. Yeah, I, I would suggest that we all look at what you have on this sheet and. But, and next time we can do an executive session to, to more ably uh, discuss these things. And then, yeah, and well, we've already discussed um, the United Congregational Church properties yeah. um, as well. And yeah, we've discussed them all in, a, in open session, but I just, this is just a, a way to get them all on one sheet of paper so that we can, we can have the same information comparable across different things. It was getting complicated. Okay. Mm. Right. It's just informational. All right. All right. We can we can set up a uh, an executive session for next meeting to, to go over that. Okay. Um, also, uh, we have any items not anticipated in within forty eight hours? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Do you have your uh, administrator's update? Yes, I do. And she has two handouts. <coughs> oh, I remember you doing that. Uh, in committee news, Jim Bosman has resigned from the Finance Committee. Oh, okay. If anyone knows someone who might be a good replacement, please let the moderator know. Uh, I know the Finance Committee had trouble making quorum this past year. In the long term, it might be good to propose to town meeting that the number of members be reduced from six to five, which would allow three to make quorum instead of four. Also to break any potential ties, you wouldn't have a tie vote there. Uh, and I have also asked uh, our moderator, Nick Filler, what he thinks of that idea. Um, and uh, in any case, it would be good for the moderator to have a, a deeper bench of possible members. So please do let him know if you have any ideas. Well, all members of the Finance Committee are appointed by the moderator? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we really need to reduce that committee. Hi. Come on in. Um, in departmental news, uh, I have approved Ron Sweet's plan, the highway supervisor's plan to raise the laborer's pay. Uh, he also has it in his budget to give a raise to his assistant, who's been doing an outstanding job for the highway department. They're both earning the same amount now, and will be earning $16 per hour after the raises. Uh, oh, I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, we want something else. Is that word the way it's... His assistant, meaning what? Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Okay. 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 I thought he meant the oh. assistant former, the Ad, former Ad, position. Admin approved. assistant. Yeah, that was I'm a little... Say, I think he makes more than that an hour. <laughs> that was a little confusing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it. That would be his foreman. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Now that, now that we've 
happily created that position. Um, Conway's cherry sheet numbers, both aid and assessments, are in for fiscal year 2018. The governor's budget proposal, on which the town's budget was partially based, had $1,027,003 in aid and $126,793 in charges. The final budget has $1,049,966 in aid, $22,963 larger, but $165,906 in charges, a greater $39,113 hit. So this totals 16150 less from the state than expected. What are these charges, um, Tom? Charges include a lot of things. Um, there is, um, we're part of an air pollution district. We pay five hundred and sixty-seven dollars for. We get an RMV non-renewal surcharge of twelve hundred dollars. Uh, we get a regional transit assessment of $265, and the big ones, school choice and charters. We get $89,000 charged against us for school choice sending tuition. We send somebody else, get $89,000 against that. And we get uh, $76,000, almost $77,000 charge to us for sending kids to charter schools. Uh, together those are $166,000. So we're sending more people to, we're choicing out and going to charter schools than we, uh, we had known. Um, the, the major addition to that was for charter school sending, which um, back in January was estimated at 38,000 and now is estimated at 77,000. So we're sending a number of, uh, at, at 13,000 apiece, that's probably three more students. Well, um, one of the counties, is every town in the Commonwealth like this that get, because the governor was boasting that he increased this to all of town, townships in the town, Commonwealth, and uh, in reality, you lose the money. Well, that all depends on the, lo <laughs> the local decisions of, of people deciding to stay or, or go. And, but they uh, use the cherry system. sheets to do these transfers for charter schools. I, I didn't realize that. There, we get charged as well as. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, yeah. Give. so this must be this must be grammar school charter schools and grammar school uh, school choice because the, the the high school the regional schools come out of the regional school budget. The region. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, it should be that way because they got a separate line item for Right, that. they did. Uh, yeah. When we went over the budget, they, yeah. they had, they had a little choice in charter. Did the line item for that? Yeah. The, I'm sorry, does the... The grammar school budget have line items for that? Uh, I believe that's what that's what these reflect, and yes, yes, they they have to account for that absolutely. Um, and again, their problem is that they don't know what the final numbers are until until enrollment. Yeah, in the middle. Of, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. You know, sure. So that's that's a this could vary then still a, yeah. a, a yearly uh, every year is a headache for everybody. So that's uh, that's the big one there. Um, uh, the emergency management director <coughs> and I met with Julie Sweet, who has volunteered to join the emergency management team as a coordinator of spontaneous and unaffiliated volunteers. Turns out there's a technical name for it uh, during emergencies. Uh, there are substantial written resources available from the Western Regional Homeland Security Advisory Group, which I forwarded to both the EMD and Julie. Is, is Julie good at hurting cats? <laughs> <laughs> she must be. Okay, and that's great. Um, and the treasurer would like you to know that Conway's peg bill has gone up to $2,500 per quarter. Of course, we get that reimbursed by Comcast. All paid by Comcast. Comcast. Comcast right? yeah. Yeah. Uh, in project news, we're having a dispute with the insul insul insulation installer at the town hall. 
our engineer says it was not installed to spec and we need it installed to spec instead of accepting the job for some reimbursement as we need to ensure that our energy use is lowered. We need to actually get the effect of having it installed properly. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the condition on which we got the Green Communities Grant. Right. Uh, the Energy Committee and our engineer are holding the contractor's mm -hmm. feet to the fire on this. The contract you've been paid for his work yet? No. 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 Good. No. Don't pay him. This is the way it's supposed to be, right? Well, yeah. that's what you're doing. We need to get the work done the way it was intended to right. be done. Exactly. That's, that's the bottom line. Uh, final work on the South River project is slated for August. You remember the South River project? That was a year ago, wasn't it? Well, these things have a tendency to, to haunt you for a while. Uh, follow-up work for, uh, as uh, follow-up work for Japanese knotweed control is completed and other invasives. Um, there was an agreement that, uh, uh, that the contractor would come in af a year after the work was done to ensure that um, uh, the result was as intended. So and, they've done the, the and, cutting and do of the invasives another. and the painting of the... That, that's, okay. um, that is what is slated for August. Okay. And, and that will finally round up Grant. Um, after so, that, the town, presumably through the Open Space Committee, will be responsible for any further invasive species control. Mm -hmm. And lastly, for projecting, the uh, Fiscal Year 17 Community Development Block Grant application was awarded last week in the full amount of $1,294,928 for housing rehabilitation across the four towns of Conway, Deerfield, Sunderland, and Leverett. The initial grant app allocation for Conway is $240,000 for six units at $40,000 per unit. Mm -hmm. Now, as they go through the projects, uh, they're not all going to cost exactly $40,000. Mm -hmm. uh, some towns may use up all that amount, some towns may not, so they reserve the right to shift the money uh, in the middle of the year if they... Uh, if, if, if the, <coughs> The sign-up lists warrant it. So, but that's that's the initial news, and that's, we have our projects all in. That's the good news. We have a waiting list of at least six. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. good. Great. Thank you, Tom. Um, welcome. Where is Peter? Peter. Here. I'm here. Hello. Peter, how are you doing tonight? Okay. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Good catch. We met with you just about a year ago, right? Was it a year ago? Yeah, something like that. Mm. Uh, continuing um, to work on the cemeteries mm. down. And, um, it's going to be a multi year project. Sure. But quite all right. Uh, when I'm in here, for tonight is um, I recently had a number of maps of um, the Cricket Hill Cemetery, um, South Park Cemetery, and the Boarding Cemetery duplicated. There was a set of uh, maps over in the town hall, and um, which will be useful. Um, uh, I'm not sure exactly when it was, but Ed Rose um, did some survey of these cemeteries. And um, uh, there have been a number of burials since the surveys were done. And um, I want to add the additional burials um, to the maps. Uh, at the same time, uh, the um, maps were um, digitized and uh, we'll be able to use the digital image and superimpose them on topographical maps or uh, the tax, tax maps, that kind of thing. Uh, they'll be useful for um, the assessors or the historical commission as well. Uh, the total for um, the, um, I've got a, a paper copy as, as well as a, the digital images. 
the total um, for both was um, $75.20. And I'm uh, here tonight um, to see what the chances were of um, getting reimbursed for that. I do have um, receipt. Um, you know, it was done by uh, collective copies down in East Hampton, I mean, um, in Florence, um, and they do a good job. Um, and, um, do you have them in there? Yeah. Do you want Yeah. Um, So a couple for Howland. Uh, the names will be useful uh, as well as uh, Fox. Um, and, and here's Cricket Hill. There was a list of names. Mm -hmm. um, South, another list of names for South Park Cemetery. But, this one. Uh, yeah. The uh, most of the burials are in the center, yeah. and they, um, there appear to be um, you know some plots available, mm -hmm. but I haven't confirmed that yet. Mm -hmm. um, and these uh, the the actual. You know, this type of image was um, uh, also digitized. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to take that, this, something like this, and superimpose it on, on other maps. Mm -hmm. So. Is this here of um, Ted Barker? Uh, Landstrom's over here. So yeah, Landstrom's okay. is kind of okay. close to the yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, And, you know, I just, you know, um, mm -hmm. want to go through and mm -hmm. you know, double check and, yep. um, you know, get, you know, the specific, you, have, uh, you can do some measuring, mm -hmm. like off the corner, mm -hmm. off the gate to see. Go you know, close here. Yeah. yeah um, you know, where the stones are, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I know there have been um, some additional burials in here. Um, a few ladies in there recently, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and, uh, <coughs> but, you know, it shows where, you know, the headstones and you know, mm -hmm. footstones are and that type of thing. So, um, it will be useful. And then this is um, Gordon on um, Warren Burke Road. Mm -hmm. So, um, Good, Peter. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Tom really needed this. Yeah. Yeah. They really I, did. I'm <coughs> working on uh, doing um, uh, something for the other allied cemeteries. Um, I've um, gone to each headstone with the um, assessor's uh, GPS unit and recorded the location. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah, I, I, my goal is to come up with something like this for all the cemeteries. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, you know, <laughs> it's going to take a while. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I think um, having an uh, up-to-date list of the cemeteries, yeah. uh, along with the maps, um, it's going to be really useful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. It will be long for more beneficial when somebody comes to the town. Like we had a few years ago with the Pretty Hill Cemetery, somebody wanted to know what a lot was. And uh, it was quite confusing at the time. Yeah. It wasn't uh, all done. Yeah. You know, not, you know, I got interested <coughs> in mm -hmm. all of this, you know, in doing. 
uh, my own genealogy research. You know, I don't I don't have any relatives here in town, but you know, I know um, that um, you know, the cemetery is is, um, is useful uh, during the two fiftieth. Uh, um, uh, James Crittenden from Rochester, New York, was in town, and I took him over to his ancestors in the Helen Cemetery and was able to go right to the stones. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were in the work, you were working on some grant we had, right? Uh, I did. Uh, was it a grant? Yeah, a grant from a CPA fund. Mm -hmm. right. right. But, you know, that's. That's been used up? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, when uh, my, I was in, I think last week, to talk with Tom about it, and he scheduled me for you know, tonight's meeting. I think we had uh, discussed the possibility of using some of the cemetery trust funds. Right. You know, it's only seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It mine. sounds like a steal. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, um, yeah. I think. Yeah. There is money available. It's, um, I would uh, draw your attention to the third one down, C.S. Yeah. Boyden, and then a little bit further down, about halfway down, there's J. Boyden, Joshua Boyden. Mm -hmm. Both of those are for multiple cemeteries. Right. Um, what we don't have is money for Pine Grove or Howland mm -hmm. because they're private, mm -hmm. privately managed. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we could, uh, I, I think there's a little bit of money that um, Jill Conway gave to um, the uh, Historical Society and we could figure out what would apply you know, for the two maps of Howland to duck that and I could go to them and say, hey, get reimbursement for the Howland. And so, um, but, uh, you know, the majority of the work was you know, for um, the You know, have to discuss that with their own committees. Yeah. Um, but are separate from the town. Yeah. But, yeah. I'll, I'll make a motion, John, if you'd like. Allow me go to, ahead. Go ahead, Bob. If we take the funds that Peter looking for out of the uh, she uh, excuse me, like the end, uh, yeah, the she Stuart Boyden Sumner Boyden account. Yeah. Ninety-three thousand nine hundred fifty-nine. That's fine. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. This is this yeah, is great now work. Yeah, I'll come in and talk with you tomorrow. Yeah. Is, are the digital the digital work? Could that be on our website at all? Um, I help? gave when I was in last week. Yeah. Yeah, I have yeah. copies. A rather large file. Yeah. Um, and um, he has the digital file. So um, I was just trying to locate my my mom and dad this morning. Um, they're in a huge cemetery, you know, in Plymouth. Mm -hmm. um, that I always get lost in, you know, when I try to find their graves. It's just this gigantic cemetery, mm -hmm. and I and I couldn't find any document mm -hmm. that said, you know, where they are. I'm sure if I went to the office at the cemetery, yeah, the offices uh, are often a good place to look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, do you know the website Find a Grave? No. Uh, that has millions of burials nationwide, mm -hmm. and. Um, it might have. Well, uh, I, I found them. I've been there yeah. before. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I mean, I'm just, it made me wonder how people would, other than find you, I mean, yeah. uh, how, how people would find yeah. their relatives. Yeah. Um, and these yeah. celebratories are tiny. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. You know. you know, the most difficult one, obviously, is Howland, but because it's the largest. Yeah. There are mm -hmm. almost yeah. 2,000 burials in Howland. Wow. So. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank, thank you very much for coming yeah. in, Peter. Yeah, yeah I got great one, work. one question for you. Uh, uh, now, Tom gave assistance, just from my own knowledge. The W. Tucker account uh, is for a hall lot in the Southwest Cemetery. 
No. South, uh, what uh, do they uh, cross the uh, Southwest Cemetery? Uh, 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 another uh, of Poland. Uh-huh. Um, you said uh, the cemetery on East Key Road? That's what they call the Southwest? Yeah, I've heard it called Southwest, Southwest or Poland. Uh, uh, yeah, have you been up there and done work in that one? Is that yeah. the hall uh, name up there? I could do a quick look. Oh, I don't have my glasses with me, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. It rings a bell, but uh, one thing that I have to do with is uh, uh, an index for this. Uh, yeah, there's a, hall, a silence hall. Um, a Rudolphus Hall out there in, in Poland. Yeah, there. Hey, do you think it'd be beneficial for the town? Just one more question, I'll be show up. Do you think it'd be beneficial for the town to put in a town owned cemeteries for them to put signs up labeling the name of the cemetery? Yeah, I think uh, what the association has done, you know, for Howard and Mount Pine mm -hmm. Grove, they're attractive signs and um, it would help. Um, and, you know, I could envision, you know, something, um, you know, with a, a sign with a little bit of history. Mm -hmm. uh, Eventually, you know, for some of these cemeteries, I could also see, you know, having, you know, some of the maps uh, along with the list. Mm -hmm. So if somebody drives up the cemetery, they could take a look at the list and go right to the, sure. the stone yeah. that they're seeking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. at least if there was a name there, they, they, they were really interested in one of them. They could come back to the town office or the assessor's office mm -hmm. and be handed that list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, At least they would know, because I, 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 over the years, I've, I've, we've seen many, many times where people come into my wife's store and say, oh, we're in town looking for a family member that's buried in the cemetery down, but we don't know the name of the cemetery, right. Right. or don't even know the mm -hmm. location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're, uh, doing, uh, you're doing GPS. Yeah, the, the, G, the GPS would mm -hmm. be very helpful. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, the, I am, um, plan on making copies of these lists, you know, mm -hmm. available here in the town offices, across the street, mm -hmm. in the library, and even the historical society, right here. you know, because, sure. you know, that, that, that's where people go when right. they know that sure. somebody is buried here in town. Mm -hmm. Sure. Good. And, uh, that is really good. Um, you know, that way, you know, the important thing is to share this information because it doesn't do any good. I know. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, over the good. years, I probably sent a half a dozen people up to the Southwest Cemetery, mm -hmm. on, 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 on East Guinea Road, and they've come back and said, we can't find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that and one is a difficult, difficult one to right. find. Because like, you got to go through somebody's door and it's yeah, not the well, the road. Yeah, yeah uh, the year that I did the mowing, right. I had to come to you right. and say, well, where, where is, is it? it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but another one that's hard to find is the town farm. Town farm, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah. That one I knew about because. But even the one nicer ones are right side of the town roads. Yeah. People drive by them every day. They have no idea what the name of that right. cemetery is. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. no, none of us. I mean, just take the one on, uh, um, over there in Shirkshire. Um, yeah. Wild Hill Cemetery. Mm -hmm. Who knows what the name of that is? I don't know if I ever know what the name of that cemetery is. Um, not, it's usually referred to as Shirkshire or North Shirkshire. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, I just think. Yeah. In your process of looking at this in the future, think about science, you know, mm -hmm. about something we could do for science, I think, would be... Yeah, another thing that, you know, I would like to do is, you know, particularly in the older cemeteries, is um, do um, a ground-penetrating radar. Mm -hmm. um, well, that gets real, real expensive. Though. Yeah, but, yeah, we've got... Yeah, for that, I would think, um, you know, CPA money might, you know, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be done all at once. Right. Mm -hmm. But, um, 
you know, that would... Another benefit of this project is to find out if there might be any plots left mm -hmm. or confirm, uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. You know, confirm. You know, in that way, you know, possibly the town could sell some lots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. great work, Peter. Okay. You're doing a wonderful yeah. job. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. This thank is you. really, Good really job. interesting and, and important work. Yeah. Thank you. So we work on an invoice. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. And you know where all this money is buried. <laughs> thank, thank you, Peter. Okay, thanks again. That's in the cemetery that's not in on <laughs> any of these lists. Mm -hmm. All right, next item on the agenda, concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns, selectmen? No concerns, yes. okay. In the mail, what do we have in the mail here? <coughs> I don't think we have any new mail, do we? That's all old mail. Okay. That's uh, essay and poster contest registration. Hmm. Ah, that's for the schools. Isn't that it? is something we got, um, and I have not uh, yet written the principal about that. But uh, that is something that would take select board action. I think it's by mid-September. So I, I did want to actually August twenty third. Oh, August. Okay. Yeah, well, August there's, there's time, still there. time before the next, um, and time to put it on the next. I, I, that was a reminder to put that on a future agenda. Okay. And we also got a Vet Ruck New England, August 17th to 20th from Bates Memorial State Park in Pittsfield to Plymouth Rock in Plymouth. Um, so that's for... 10 miles for every veteran who takes his or her life across the state of Massachusetts. Okay. Did you look at the schedule on there, John? Yeah. You got schedule. that email? Oh, that is, is that extraordinary. Is that really what it says? Extreme athletes. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about when it comes through Conway. Yeah. That's Conway Road. 200 hours? They're at saying 2 a.m. in the morning? They're extreme athletes. That's how they build oh. them. They're going to. They're going to march with rucksacks from Pittsfield to Plymouth mm -hmm. <coughs> with a total of two and a half hours break. How, how many miles is that? 200. And 200 miles? It's 10 for every... Um, it, it's, based, it's based on the uh, how many awareness are of do it? Uh, yeah. veteran yeah. suicides. No. Wow. It's veteran suicide awareness, and there's, there's 20 a year in Massachusetts, I think, so they're taking when are they coming 200 through miles, 10 miles per day. Coming veteran. through Conway on the 18th at 2 o'clock in the morning. August 18th. August 18th, 18th 2 o'clock in the morning. And they're asking hours. for anyone who wants to join them to join them. Okay. You can cheer them on. <laughs> March with them, cheer them on. Wow. Okay. Well, make, make sure that gets disseminated. Okay. Yes. Uh, actually, I've already sent that to the uh, recorder. Um, oh, good. Andy, okay. also oh. being a veteran, is terrific. All over it. Absolutely. Okay. That's it for mail. Any announcements? Uh, okay. No announcements. Our next scheduled meeting is Monday, August 7th, here in the town offices at 6 p.m. Okay. If there's no more business to come before the board tonight, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay.